Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at writing expressions part 2. And if you missed part 1, I put that link down in the description. I highly suggest doing part 1 before part 2. Part 1 was more basic expressions and just getting, getting the hang of what we're doing. Now in part 2, we are going to get to more complex expressions with two steps. And after this video, we will follow it up with a mastery check where you will try some on your own to see if you have it down. So a review of some important words from part one, we need to know what variable means. And remember, that is a letter within a math problem that means a missing number, a missing piece. And also, we need to know our vocab for answers to all four operations. So sum for addition, product for multiplication, quotient for division, and difference for subtraction. So like all of my instructional videos, you can write these out with me or just listen. I highly suggest writing them out with me and then doing the mastery check on the same piece of paper or whatever you are writing on. So here we go with number one. Add eight and three, then multiply by six. So we need add 8 and 3 first, then multiply by 6. That matches our words here, but we're missing a couple of very important things. Depending on if you are familiar with order of operations or not, um, this may be new to you. Or if you're familiar with order of, order of operations, you probably know this. But we need to add 8 and 3 first. So we need to put something in this problem to show that that needs to be done first. Because in the order of operations, you are supposed to multiply before you add if you have multiple operations within the problem. But we don't want to multiply before we add. We want to add 8 and 3, then multiply by 6. So what we do is we put parentheses around what we do first. If you see parentheses in a math problem, that means you automatically have to do that first. So this says add eight plus three and then multiply by six. So we're good to go. If you don't have those parentheses, the order of operations states that you need to do multiplication first, which would give us a different answer. I know we're not solving anything right now, but I just want to give you that to you for an example. I will do uh, a couple of order of operations videos. I'll drop those, link, those links down in the description as well. So you can check that out after you have writing expressions down or maybe you've already done it. Number two, the product of four and M. Remember variable. And when we multiply a number by a variable, we do not want to use an X for the multiplication sign because that can be confused as an X, okay? So I'm gonna do 4M, a four right next to the M. That means four times M. Then we divide it by two. And just for a good habit here, I'm gonna put parentheses around what I do first. Although the order of operations states that multiplication and division are on the same level, so you just go left to right. So technically, if you have it like this, you would be correct, okay? And I know maybe this order of operations stuff does not make sense to you right now, but once we get into that, you'll have it down. So number three, seven minus two, multiplied by n. So 7 minus 2. And I want to do that first, so I'm going to put it in parentheses. Multiplied by n. Remember, don't want to use the x whenever you have algebra problems or a letter involved. So I'm going to use the dot to represent multiplication. So 7 minus 2, always double check then multiply by n. Perfect. Number four, three taken away from six, then multiplied by seven. Remember you are taking the three away from six. Order matters here. 
So if you had six dollars and someone takes three, it would look like this. Six minus three, and we need to do that first, so put it in parentheses, then multiply by seven. Notice that's not an, not an algebra problem. There's no letters in there, so I use the x for the multiplication sign. You can use any of the other methods, though, and it would still be correct. Number five, the product of two and x plus 25. So product of two and x, I'm gonna put two x. Remember, number next to a letter means multiply, plus 25. Let me double check my work here. Product of two and x, all right, there we go. And then plus 25, so we're good to go with that one. So those are some examples of two-step expressions. You just need to be careful, use parentheses for what you do first, and always read back the problem to make sure your answer is correct. So I will see you over at the Mastery Check, link down in the description. You're going to try some on your own to see if you have it down. Thanks for watching.